this short video is presented to you by dreamandlove.com. Topic, summer dating. 10 tips for dating in the summer. Over the summer months, life tends to speed up. If you are single, you might be looking to find something long term. Be warned, dating during the summer can be a perfect storm of bad or extremely bad dates if you don't take the time to plan. Here are a few quick tips to follow when you're looking for Mrs. Wright. When it's really hot, pick someplace cool. When the past few weeks of June are brutally hot, it shouldn't even be a question when selecting a place to meet your date that it should have air conditioning. In the metro area, there isn't a lack of clean spaces for two. Just bring a thin cardigan or blazer in case it gets too cold. Then if your date becomes chilly, you can be the gentleman that she expects you to be and offer her your sweater or coat. Chivalry isn't dead yet. When the weather is beautiful, pick some place outdoors. Chicago is a place where dining outside is at a premium. On a nice day, the wait time to get a table outside can be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. If you are lucky enough to grab a table, make sure to note where the sun rises and sets. There's nothing worse than trying to get to know someone and looking at your squinty face in his or her sunglasses. Total date killer. Also, with being outside on the sidewalk, eyes tend to wander. Do yourself a favor and show your date that you're interested in more than what's walking down the street. Second date, try an outdoor activity. Typically, women don't want to sweat 10 minutes into a first date. This type of strenuous activity should be reserved for a second or a third date. By the second date, the physical attraction is there, and it's more about compatibility. Having a little friendly competition can excite and ignite sparks that might have otherwise been smoldered if you blab on about your career and how much money you make. Dress for the weather, but still sharp. This might be an obvious statement, but you can still be stylish and stay cool at the same time. As a gentleman, you already have a versatile wardrobe that works everywhere. Too hot during the summer for jeans? Try a pair of lightweight linen trousers or chinos. Pair it with a sharp-fitting polo. Coming from work, make sure to try out a seersucker shirt under that suit and tie. Ditch the tie and put look together without looking like you're trying too hard. Hydrate yourself. We're not talking about hydrating yourself on alcoholic beverages. We always make it a priority when going through our day to keep ourselves hydrated. Water is essential to our health, and in fact, the World Health Organization recommends two gallons of water per day per person. With that being said, it's not less manly to order a glass of water with your beer or cocktail. It's responsible. If you're not into tap water, try some seltzer with a squeeze of lemon or lime. Take a cab or an Uber or a Lyft. The world has changed. We're in a generation where private cars are at your fingertips. In the city, the subway is the most cost-effective and sometimes fastest way to get places. Herein lies the problem. When temperatures rise, the subway gets unbearably hot. Couple that with the continuous train delays and you're going to want to stay above ground if you need to be someplace on time. Services like Uber, Get, and Lyft are usually widely available and are fairly affordable. If not, you need to splurge. Don't forget about personal hygiene. Start out with a cool shower. A cool shower can help circulation and keep your core temperature down when the mercury rises. Next is deodorant, preferably an all-natural one. Another small detail that goes a long way is using a touch of summer weight cologne. Typical summer scents are a lot fresher and somewhat sweeter. As a rule, try fragrances that feature citrus or marine notes. They work particularly well in the summer, as we tend to associate them with cleanliness and coolness. The warmer temperatures affect the diffusion of fragrance, meaning they don't stick around as long on the skin as they tend to in the winter. With this in mind, you might be a little more generous with the application of your fragrance than you would normally be. The best option when you buy a cologne you love, ask the sales representative if they have a VOC, those little plastic sprayers that you get for free. Slip one of those into your jacket pocket and then reapply when you head to the restroom. Grooming for summer. Grooming during the summer should be easy and carefree. Hair should be medium to short in length. Long hair during the summer can cause you to sweat and generally gets a little greasier if you're always pushing it back off your face constantly. Make sure to keep your hair products in a cold or cool place. If the product is soft or melted, it's likely to make your hair greasy and won't hold it in place. When you have styled your hair, always apply a strong hairspray to lock it in. If you don't really love using hair products, try a simple sea salt spray and have that from the beach look. Always pay. First date. 
hey, there's nothing much more to say. Eye contact and smile. Sometimes the simplest things are the hardest. Do yourself a favor and go into your date with an open mind and a little bit of laughter. Don't take yourself too seriously and smile when you're talking to your date. Another great habit is to keep eye contact with your date. Just try not to stare awkwardly. Try breaking eye contact every seven seconds or so. Don't look down as this might indicate the ending of your part of the conversation or that you're bored with the conversation. Instead, look up or to the side as if you're trying to remember something. Thank you for watching.